Now that everything's set up, we can start with a tabby weed for this project. For that, we're first gonna need to thread our needle. So we're gonna need a piece of yarn, it's about two arm lengths long, and a weaving needle. So it's this long one right here. Then we're gonna start by making a little loop on the end of our yarn. It's not too long here, it's a little bit less than my finger even. And then I'm gonna make that little loop on the end kind of small. And that's gonna go through the eye of my needle here. But I'm not gonna pull it all the way through. I'm just gonna leave this little loop here on the end. And then this little tail that's sticking out is gonna go through that loop like this. And then I'm just going to pull both ends. This makes it really easy to take on and off. If this falls off while you're weaving, you can just put it back on the same exact way we just put it on there. Then we get to start weaving um, on our loom. For that, I'm gonna start with a popsicle stick and I'm going to put this under all of my warp strings here and then turn it sideways. That's just going to lift up all the strings, which makes it a lot easier to weave on. Then I'm going to use my weaving needle here and I'm gonna start by going underneath the first one over the next one and I'm gonna continue that pattern all the way across. It's really important that you never go over or under two at a time. For tabby weaving, we are only going over and under one at a time. Then I'm going to pull it all the way through, but when it gets towards the end, I'm gonna slow it down because I don't wanna accidentally pull it all the way through. When I've got this little tail left over, all I'm gonna do is push it down to the bottom. Then when I'm ready to come back from this side, I'm always gonna come back weaving from the side where I have this long piece of string hanging here. And I'm going to look at what I did with my last warp thread. If I'm looking at my blue yarn, that went under this yellow warp thread. So when I come back this way, I've gotta make sure that I go over that yellow warp thread and then continue my pattern of going over and under all the way across. And once I'm there, I'm going to pull all the way. And as I get towards the end, I slow down. I do not wanna pull it too tight because if I pull it too tight, then my last warp string starts to come in like that and we don't want that to happen. So I have to leave something called a weaver's bubble on the end, like this, and then I just press it all the way down. That stops the warp strings from coming in. Then when I want to come back this way, I again have to look at this last warp string. As I'm looking at it, I see that my blue string has gone over the yellow warp string. So when I come back, this time I've got to go under the yellow warp string, and then again, continue that pattern all the way across, being very, very careful not to skip two at a time. Then as I get to the end, just like last time, I slow it down to make sure that I leave this little weaver's bubble on the end right here so that it doesn't pull the strings in. Once I get to the end of my string here, then I can just find the part that's wrapped around my needle, the eye of the needle, and pull on it and it should easily come off. I also noticed that I see all these yellow warp strings through my weaving. We don't wanna see that. We wanna make sure that our weaving stays really nice and tight. So every so often, we wanna make sure that we press it so far down that we don't see any of those warp strings again. Now, when you're ready for your next color string, then you're just going to thread your needle just like the last time. You're going to fold this into a small loop, put that through the eye of the needle, and take this little tail and place it through that loop, and then pull it tight. Now from here, I'm just gonna look at the opposite of what I did last time. So last time I ended with this going over, this time I'm going to start by going under, and then I'm just going to continue just as I was before. Now, as I was weaving, I noticed that there may have been a mistake here. When I went to go press it down, I can see that every other warp string here shows through, and no matter how hard I press it down, I can still see it. 
If you see something like this, what that means is that you may have accidentally gone over or under two of these at a time by accident. You can also tell I made a mistake because you can see that I have three in a row that went over this warp string. You should never have more than one um, that goes over a warp string at a time. So since I have three here, it means that I either made one or two mistakes along the way. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take the yarn off of my weaving needle and I'm gonna to go to this end and pull this row back out and see if I can find where I made my mistake. So going back this way, I'm checking to see that I went under, over, under, all the way across. And I see in this row, oh, I see right here, I went under this these two warp strings two at a time instead of just going under one. So that's a mistake. And if I pull that back, I still see that I went two times under this row, which means that I must have made another mistake too. So I'm going to pull this back. And as I pull it back, I see where my mistake is. I also went under these two instead of just going under the one. So I'm going to pull that all the way back, fix the problem, make sure I still have my weaver's bubble because I don't want to pull in that last warp thread. And if I look at it, it now looks like the problem is fixed so I can rethread my needle and continue.